Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be sober, self-controlled, be vigilant, watchful. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfastly in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brothers and sisters in the world. Two mistakes that Christians make in take talking about the devil are that we are either joking about him or ignore him. The Christian may cast the whole burden of anxiety upon God yet is not thereby absolved from the duty of vigilance. In essence, this verse says, wake up, pay attention. We are involved in a spiritual battle. You need to know the enemy and his characteristics. You need to understand that we are in a life and death battle. It seems to me that when I feel closest to Christ and everything is going well, is when I should be the most cautious. Unfortunately, for most of us, that's not our typical course of action. We tend to let our guard down and further because we embrace a false sense of security. This is the time when you should call in for reinforcements to cover your rear and keep your head on a swivel to assure you are looking out for an attack in every direction. Stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. Is this phrase that I use and remind myself in times like these. You don't have time to get ready to stand firm and resist the devil when he attacks. You must always be ready and on your guard at all times because the enemy roams around seeking someone who is slipping, someone who is sleeping. He wants to catch you off guard and when you least expect it. So you've got to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Stay in the word of God and stay prayed up. Therefore, my beloved brethren, let me encourage you to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.